it's easy to learn anything as long as you love what you're doing. And when that happens, actually you start to enjoy what you do day by day. You should have a drive, you should have a vision for yourself. You have to come in with your ears open. You have to be really humble. A lot of people think that it's so glamorous, but actually it's really hard work, a lot of sacrifices. Um, the inclination for, for cooking started probably when, when I was in high school. During high school days, I was very interested in home economics. I started cooking with my mother and my grandmother for special occasions. I'm a sucker for cooking shows, so I remember spending my weekends back in the day watching Nora Daza and the Chinese lady, you know, Chinese cooking show. I would say growing up with my dad, uh, it was inevitable, I think, for us to, you know, get into this uh, kind of work or craft. Uh, during college, I met this CCA graduate who was the chef for Seven Suites. I took up computer science and then went on to work in the corporate world. Then back in 2000, I got tired of my job. I went to the States for a medical school and then I stumbled upon Iron Chef America. <laughs> uh, if I want to continue my father's legacy, I'm going to have to learn it whether I like it or not. So going to a school was the best option for me. Whenever I search for a culinary arts school here in the Philippines, it's always Center for Culinary Arts. I heard from a friend of a friend that she was studying in CCA. So I checked out the school and I checked out the curriculum. It's not that CCA was the only culinary school. It was just because of the chefs who were going to be my professors. So that's where I went. Well, first day in CCA was not unlike any other first day like in high school or because most of us are already graduates from college. First day in school, I was excited. In my batch, I was one of the oldest. But it didn't matter. Uh, there was a guest uh, culinarian or chef the, uh, from, I think, affiliated with the Canada thing with CCA. I can never forget what he said that time. I would like to welcome all of you to the profession of the next century. One thing about CCA, they taught me discipline. We have to wake up early, 6 o'clock. We have to be inside the uh, lecture rooms already. So we had to do everything ourselves. At first, we wanted to rebel against the chef. Cleaning the kitchen was part of our job during that time. Well, for other schools, they have stewards who clean their pots and pans. Then later on, we, we started to have fun, and then we understood why we had to do the dirty side of the, the job. One thing I can remember about um, Mom Guerrero was she went inside the kitchen and was telling us to always keep it clean, treat this like your home. Ms. Guerrero's um, passion for going green. During our time in first batch camp, I think they were pretty much hands-on. So they were on top of everything. They made, they made sure that the course or the, what was offered to us was being absorbed by the students. It was more of like a family during that time. Well, my mom didn't cook. <laughs> But my dad was a gourmand. It's all about my mom. Even up to now, she's the one cooking if ever there's an occasion at home. What I learned from, from my mother is that you don't have to be very exact whenever you're cooking. Actually, I went to school to learn how to cook and eventually maintain my dad's cooking. The mother of my dad and the mother of my mom, both of them really know how to cook Filipino dishes well. Filipino cuisine right now is really evolving. The beauty of it is actually the history of our cuisine. It's a mix of stories of how we were able to produce this kind of dish. Especially now, more and more chefs are getting into it, like trying to introduce the cuisine to the world. On my own opinion, we still have to be strong when it comes to having this image. We have been innovating it, the way we present and cook our food. Knowing your own identity is being comfortable in what you are doing. Graduation for us was bittersweet. Of course, we would miss our friends, our colleagues. We've been together for two years. But we were also looking forward to what we will do after CCA. Once you get inside the real world, I remember my first time I was in a very busy kitchen. After school, I was offered a job in the office of the president in Malacanang Palace. I was hired as a chef de party. From that time that I graduated in here, I was able to practice what I've learned already in school and then at the same time I was able to share it with a lot of people. First job was that we opened C2, which is the collaboration of CCA and Cravings. Now, 
We're producing around 60 to 80,000 meals a day. We have launched our cookbook already, the Alba cookbook. So that would be something I'm really proud of. I have six restaurants now, all doing okay, all doing good. And we're thinking of expanding. If it was about sharing what you gained in school, your knowledge, I would consider myself successful. You will always say, you're gonna do better. You're gonna do better than this. You're gonna do better than that. CCA paved the way for my rebirth. So I feel very lucky and blessed that I did that. Once you're in it, you enjoy it, and you love what you're doing, I think it's uh, the best <laughs> choice you make. not a pre prerequisite that you know how to cook. The heart and the passion will always uh, surpass the skills that you have. CCA is the pioneer in educating chefs in the country. They created the business, and they produced people who will run the business. The students will always define the school. Sandra Faye Tolentino Pauco. I'm the chef owner of Flaming Wings and Gravy Fix. I'm Wally Salangsang. I'm currently the operations manager for Heaven Heavenly Urban Chef Incorporated. My name is Jose Carlos Santiago. I'm the, currently the executive chef of the Bay Leaf in Tomorrow's. I'm Janice Lazaga. Currently, I'm working for Unilever Food Solutions. I'm Miguel Angel de Alba. I work for Alba Restaurant. I'm the general manager and at the same time handling all kitchen operations. They, you, you cook the food, you serve it, they enjoy it right away. It makes you feel good. You make people happy. If I think CCA is the best culinary school in the country, I would say yes.